All right, welcome in everybody. We are uh, trying something new here. As you can see, if you are following along on our Facebook Live page, but uh, my name is Aaron Montgomery and I am, I can be found over at AaronMontgomery.info. And uh, my name is Terry Combs. You can find me at Equipment Zone. Uh, also find me over at TerryCombs.com. And Aaron and I are going to be doing a, a presentation at two regular uh, at at, uh, at two regular guys seminar anyway at the <laughs> upcoming DAX shows 2018. And and here's the gist of the plan: uh, many digital decorators get that shiny new toy, and it just sits there. So Aaron and I have uh, had the pleasure of traveling the world, seeing digital decoration in action. We're going to take some of those experiences and share them with you and uh, and maybe help you come up with some unique uh, uh, niche markets to put that digital device to work for you and, and make some money for you. Excellent. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, Terry. And uh, as people uh, can tell, it, it, we are a day later than normal. Um, so uh, you were uh, enjoying some well-deserved time off and uh, got back, uh, I believe, like pretty much uh, middle of the night last night. So I did uh, indeed. I how did was indeed. your trip, Terry? It was awesome. I, uh, my sons and I, and, and a lot of our regular listeners know this, that every year of over Thanksgiving and my birthday, uh, my two adult sons, they're 37 uh, year old twins. Now uh, we, we go to the Caribbean for a week and this is our fifth year. So we were in Punta Canta, um, New, uh, in Dominican Republic and uh had a had a big old time and uh you know a lot of snorkeling a lot of a lot of rum a lot of laying by the pool a lot of sitting at the pool bars bars plural because we we're really really nice <laughs> resort there we we always do the uh the uh all inclusives you know and so i think when it's two adult men there or two three adult men it's it's usually uh a losing proposition for them <laughs> so they make it up on the families <laughs> yeah. i think but uh a lot of a lot of fun but yeah, we left um, yesterday afternoon, so we spent the the morning still at the resort, and and so I wheeled into uh, Sky Harbor Airport here in Phoenix Mountain Time about twelve thirty this morning. I got home about one a.m. Uh, and uh, and my both my grandsons, uh, my three year old and uh, eighteen month old, are here, and and uh, because uh, my son in law is at sea right now in the USS Alabama, and so. They were pretty anxious to see Grandpa this morning, and they were they were having a hard time being nice and quiet out there. So, so uh, I've had just a little bit of sleep and uh, been hanging out with them. Uh, uh, their mom is uh, taking them out of the uh, out of the home here so that uh, <laughs> we can maybe be quiet for an hour. I was going to try uh, Aaron having my sliding doors open because this time of year in Arizona, it's really really nice in the mornings, but. Every time I do that, uh, especially when we're on the air, the, the guys with the uh, with the blowers, uh, we don't have grass. Anybody who's not from Arizona, there's no grass. But the blower guys come by and they tend to tend to stand right off my balcony for I don't know. Tw I think they they stop there for a cigarette because it's I'm on the back of the building <laughs> and just leave the blower running. So I had to close up my doors and uh, but anyway, uh, a really really nice trip and. Uh, uh, it was nice getting away, and it's it's nice uh, being out of touch completely. You know, you you could go and uh, find a little a little bit of Wi-Fi somewhere, and maybe uh, maybe send a message or two, but but uh, really out of pocket and uh, just the way it should be. <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's that's what a vacation is for sure. So exactly. All right, well, good stuff there. It is uh, Saturday, December second, uh, for any of you uh, following along at home, and and if you are catching the live broadcast. Uh, be sure to uh, put your comments in. I, I, I see we've got some folks tuning in. Uh, Eric Campbell is, uh, I can see him right there. So uh, welcome in, Eric. And uh, we're looking forward to having your comments as we talk about some unique uh, niche markets today. And, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, And uh, as far as uh, I, if you hear some pounding coming out of uh, the roof above me, uh, pre-show, I had a, uh, a slime incident with my six-year-old who was covered <laughs> in slime. Terry, I got to see that. Yeah, so uh, that's the great thing about video. Uh, he's I've never heard about him before. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll uh, <laughs> he, he may pop into the live broadcast here once or twice. So uh, we'll have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Terry. Well, before we get into the meat of our show, I do want to remind everybody that we are the first and most listened to decorating podcast on the planet, and we would appreciate you sharing with us and your friends uh, via not sharing with us, sharing us with your friends 
via social media and also helping out by giving us a review on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to the program. And you can share with us as well. We like that. We like yeah, that absolutely. too. So. <laughs> we appreciate you guys listening. Uh, we are very pleased to bring you this uh, weekly podcast without rants, lecturing, selling. And we would love for you to visit our webpage at two regular guys. That's the number two regular guys.com. Check out the show notes uh, like this. This video will be uh, posted there. Uh, all of our previous podcasts and, and, and Aaron, you know, we get a lot of great information from, uh, from our guests. And they're always talking about at this link and at that link and, and find this product. And all of that is on our website for about 250 shows or so. Um, yep. And, and we love for you to suggest topics for the show. So do that uh, as well. And um, you can do that uh, on our website at the uh, contact us page or any social media outlets. You can always find us at the number two regular guys. And we're everywhere there. And, we love to interact with you guys. And Aaron, if uh, if we were uh, if you're listening uh, to this as a um, in the archive right now, we're going to have a commercial from the Specialty Graphic Imaging Association (SGIA). Absolutely, yeah. And uh, again, those of you listening on the podcast version will be uh, hearing about ThreadX. I'm going to post a comment here on the Facebook Live page. Hopefully, Let's see if that actually works. Um, there we go put that right up there. So uh, for those of you listening on the Facebook live page, definitely uh, head over to threadx18.com and check that out. Uh, I'm getting pretty excited about going there. We've been uh, talking with the good folks over at SJA about our broadcast that's going to be happening live from casino night there at threadx18.com. So check that out. Hey there, and this is going to be our, our second casino night. We did casino night at the deck show at one of the <laughs> right. locations. I, I don't recall which one, but but uh, huh. we may have a reputation, Terry. I'm not sure if uh, that's a good or bad thing. But uh, anyway, I don't know if it's I don't I'm know if it's it. the free drinks or the high rolling. I'm got- <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Terry. Well, let's let's dive in here. Um, so we're we're going to focus on some niche markets today, and um, but we're going to we're going to make this niche market talk even more niche than than the general decoration uh, folks that are that are listening. So this is really going to be focused towards folks that are, are digital decorators. More and more uh, folks are, are are joining the digital world, and um, so what we want to talk about here is we want to get into some uh, very specific things that. Uh, you know, because of the fact that you can digitally decorate, that could be anything from, you know, if you've got a direct to garment machine, if you have uh, sublimation equipment, uh, if you have a print and cut setup, a uh, vinyl print and cut um, type uh, setup, or maybe you've got one of those uh, toner transfer systems where uh, all based around being able to digital decorate and, and uh, not have a lot of setup involved. So we're going to talk about some of those niches. And and Terry, what uh, what I wanted to do too was not only talk about the niche and maybe give some people some ideas, but maybe try to dig a little bit into the nuts and bolts of it. You know, what makes it work? Why why digital decoration makes that niche kind of work and stuff like that. So if you can, you know, maybe go into some more detail there, that would be fantastic. I've got a few uh, from my world, from both the sublimation world and some toner transfer and, and maybe even print and cut that we can get into. And then we'd also love to uh, welcome anybody that's watching on the Facebook Live to uh, to bring their suggestions in uh, via the comments section there. So um, the good comments we'll, we'll post up on the video here and we'll talk about. And um, you know, if you just want to say hi, we can even do that too. But uh, anyways, <laughs> you know, what, Terry, you wanna, you why know, don't you start us off? I, I, I know sure. we're, you know, with you basically coming in off of vacation where this is going to be fun. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is going to be a lot more conversation than uh, than off the script. We'll just tell everyone that right now. But yeah, but, exactly. Uh, yeah, you know, a couple of things that 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 I wanted to comment about too is, you know, we had Mark Coudre on on the show here. Well, I don't know, maybe six weeks ago. And, and Mark yeah. always makes this comment. And Mark's an old screen printer, and and a, a lot of people, you know, it's they go kicking and screaming into this, but. You know, uh, Mark is the first person to say to you, listen, if you don't um, go digital and, and he, he doesn't say you have to be only digital, but if you're not doing digital decoration of in some method, then you're going to get left behind. And, and 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 it is just a fact. The markets have changed so much. You know, uh, Skynet slash Amazon uh, has <laughs> changed the way people buy product and 
changed the way it changes the way I buy product. And, and, you know, I won't deal dig too far into that because I, uh, you know, we both talk about it quite a bit, but you know, the, the, the customer that we say, uh, you know, as a screen printer, for instance, the customer that we say, listen, you want a six color print, you've got to order, you know, I'm losing money at 48 pieces. Th those days are gone. I yeah. Is that customer still there? It is still there. The 48 piece, the 500 piece, the 10,000 piece customer is still there. But a big slice of the marketplace is I want one. I want it custom. I want it today. So, yeah. uh, y y y and if, and hey, you know what? You could probably stay in business saying, hey, 48 piece minimum. But if you want to make money in the future, if you want to get a slice of that pie, you better get a, get on board right now. And, and Aaron, you were real quick on that topic. I, I, I think that you're exactly right. Like you said, that, that business is still there, you know, the, the 48 and above or, or even, even bigger. But the other nice part about all of this digital opportunity here is, you know, that those 500 piece orders, you know, your, your margins are, are razor thin and you have to be really good at it. And you have to, you know, those kinds of things, right. those one piece orders, your margins are huge. Screw up a couple. No big deal. <laughs> you know, uh, it, so for me, it's like, oh, great. Now I can actually do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? I could I could do print twice the product and still make make uh, make money and deliver half. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, you know, and, and one of the things, Aaron, along those lines is is untouched markets, you know, and, and untouched markets still today. And I'm going to give you a, an example from my vacation. If you guys will uh, indulge me that <clears throat> my sons and I went on a, on a, an adventure. We, we always do a couple of excursions when we're on these trips, you know, just to kind of get out and see the countryside and, and, you know, get out into some deeper water, that sort of thing. And, and so we went on one where we, you do snuba, which is uh, it's basically uh, scuba diving, but you have a hose attached rather than a tank. Um, we did uh, speed boats and then we did snorkeling. Well, as we entered the area, you know, and there's a lot of, a lot of marketing going on at any of these events, you know, as we entered the area, there's a great looking pirate there, you know, in full regalia, uh, holding on to a pirate wheel. And, uh, it's a real guy and he gets you and you pose for a real quick picture. And as we were getting off uh, the boat after our five hours out, we, um, they had bottles of Montawana, uh, and, and on the label was that picture, the pirate on the wheel and us, you know, right next to him. And of course I didn't buy it because my sons and I, we tried to travel light. So we do carry on. So I can't buy a bottle of rum and take it home with me. I'd have no way to get it, you know, through customs. <laughs> so, but you know, you I was. It. I could. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what Montawana is here in a second, but, but, uh, but I thought, you know, these guys are missing a whole marketplace because every, uh, everything they do. I mean, when we were snuba diving, you know, they, they have uh, all this, you know, they have like speed boats on the bottom made of concrete and you sit at them. They have a professional photographer just swimming around taking pictures. I would have bought a t-shirt. Not one of those, uh, and I've been on a lot of these excursions. I've never been offered a T-shirt with my picture snorkeling or anything like that. And so, hey, whoever has the uh, the franchise for selling direct to garment or sublimation or anything in in any of the Caribbean countries, you're missing the boat. There's there's a there's a million guys out there who would uh, who could benefit from that product. But let me let me let me tell you real quick what Montawana is. Montawana, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's uh it's the drink of uh of the Dominican Republic and it's uh they have a bottle it basically it's full of tree bark um I'm not sure what kind of bark it is then they say it's two fingers of uh of uh of uh honey it's three fingers of rum and the rest is red wine and they kind of shake it up and uh marijuana and uh it's everywhere you go and at the end of every excursion you go on everybody gets a gets a cup of marijuana <laughs> so <laughs> anyway so hey not only are we talking about something education and, and and decoration but hey everybody just learned something about the caribbean and now you all want to go cheapcaribbean.com here's my plug i love those guys <laughs> we'll do one more time, Terry. Cheapcaribbean.com. We book all, all right. our trips through those guys. They are primo. <laughs> they do uh, they do a great job for you and, and only the best of 
the best of hotels and the best of tours and and uh, sign up for the all inclusives. You'll 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 thank me later on. Uh, <laughs> and, and when you thank me, uh, if you want to send me a bottle of Montawana, I didn't get to bring mine home. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. there you, go. you can send them a picture, Terry, that they can put on the label. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, the two yeah. regular guys for that picture. Take it off our website. <laughs> there you go. That'd be perfect. Hey, still, All right. And Aaron, there's uh, still time to do uh, custom printing before Christmas. It's only December second, and you can certainly attest to that since you probably won't be home until uh, Christmas Day from uh, from all the work you're out yeah. there doing. So, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, I, I'm going on. Uh, in fact, to get get away for this. Uh, I've already been on the phone about seven times this morning. So this would be day seven of uh, 14 hour days down at uh, pickthegift.com. So <laughs> it's been, been pretty wild. All right. But, uh, well, but that, uh, it, as, as they say, say make hay while the sun shines, right? <laughs> <laughs> I do have to share. Um, Eric Campbell, as we mentioned, is is hanging out with us. And there, you see his comment there, Terry? I do. I do. Leave it to Terry to give us a drink recipe. <laughs> <laughs> there, there it is. Well, hey, it's the holiday it season. Really Maybe is. somebody wants to make it something a little special for uh, <laughs> for uh, you know Christmas Eve. <laughs> awesome. You could probably awesome. drink it warm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly wasn't on ice when they gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you All agree, right. Aaron? That well, that, uh, that that there's so many. I mean, it's I, you could write volumes on how many marketplaces out there still have no concept of of digital decoration and 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 uh, those those resellers and and wholesalers are still are still using old decoration methods to to produce their products. So there, there's a lot of opportunity because maybe uh, maybe hey, you're 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 not the guy that's uh, that's that's taking pirate pictures and putting them on bottles of marijuana, but maybe. Uh, Maybe you're a, you're a, a digital decorator that could go to one of these businesses and say, "Hey, let me help you. Let me let me be your decorator." And uh, there yeah. there there is a lot of business out there in the world for the person who says, "Hey, let me be your decorator." Yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. That that's a really good point. That uh, they're definitely going to get there. Um, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be the the person in the foreground. You know, there's lots of good salespeople out there. You you just do the work for them. That's, exactly. a, that's a good point. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, my turn, Terry. I'm going to uh, dive in here. So I'm going to start with uh, the toner transfer area. I think here. Um, it, so a lot of people probably picked up a toner transfer. Maybe they were looking at direct to garment um, and and weren't quite ready for that. So they they thought maybe you know going to make some shirts with their toner transfer system and probably doing okay with that. You know, it's, it's not quite direct to garment quality, but uh, you know, if that's where you're starting, you know, no, nothing wrong with that. And I think you can still make a pretty quality shirt and, and the paper gets better and better all the time. And, you know, so anyhow, you, you've gotten into it, you've got this, this unit here, but you know, I think you've been probably focused on shirts and, and the area where I think maybe a lot of toner transfer people don't um, spend enough time is in the hard surface arena. Uh, that, the hard surface papers out there are, are really good and getting better all the time. And, uh, you know, so so that kind of awards area uh, is a, a good market to, to focus on. Um, you know, I've got a so this is kind of a maybe not even a humble brag, just a brag. But uh, let's see if I can show it here in the video. Um, this is my SGIA uh, 2017 Outstanding Service Award. So I had to. <laughs> had to show nice. that off real quick. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to show the award though. Um, so this is this is actually an engraved uh, award. Um, you know, so a lot of a lot of that market's here. The problem with that is that um, it's fairly limited in color and things like that. And unfortunately, I don't have a sample here to show on the video. Um, but for those listening to the podcast, you don't care anyways. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I've seen some really nice pieces, award pieces done that uh, are done with toner transfers and and then they can be multicolor and then they can be um, done quickly and updated quickly. So, you know, heading into, uh, you know, and it's not just these kinds of awards, but maybe it's, uh, you know, a, a boss wants to get some Christmas presents for, for their staff and they're going to make up awards that uh, are, are going to be, you know, the best, best dressed or, you know, right. best personality, but, you know, whatever the, the, the different kinds of things um that you can do there and and so to be able to offer those things quickly digitally um you know your typical award plaques but maybe maybe like um hard surface uh 
like plexiglass looking pieces or, or uh, crystal and things like that. So, so there's a market now, as far as like getting to that market, um, you know, a, a lot of that you actually can probably find through your ad specialties kind of arenas, uh, ASI, PPAI, um, you know, so you might be making some promotional product kind of things for those folks. But a lot of times you're going to be dealing with with corporate customers. Um, one of the uh, at Pick the Gift, one of the the uh, companies that we work with over there to do some sublimation for, um, they do a lot of stuff for Twitter. So we, we made a bunch of uh, yoga mats for for Twitter for, uh, you know, some of their employees for kind of a recognition program. So, you well, know, that, cool. there's a good place to start. Well, you know, and Aaron, uh, I'm going to put that uh, also on uh, on on we on the vendor side who who sell equipment and sell supplies and things like that because uh, I'm I'm trying to recall uh, a trade show where I saw uh, something like that, you know, being being demonstrated. You see a lot of T-shirts, but you don't necessarily see uh, here's what the machine can do. And I, I'll give you an example from uh, from direct to garment printing, and and it was you know, uh, printing on jeans and there are, there have been printers, uh, using direct garment printers to print on jeans since the very first machine. And, and, uh, uh but at a show about, I'm going to say about halfway through the show season, uh, one of our guys, uh, Wade Rowan, who's a, who's a lead tech over at equipment zone. He, um, he, he decorated some jeans and put them on display. And it was, it was like the heavens open for people. And and they're like, oh my gosh, I I never thought of that. I had no idea that you could do that. In fact, one person came with a college logo and said, hey, can you print this on these jeans? I brought my own jeans with me. Can you print these on print this on jeans? And she saw it. She goes, I'm going to sell a million of these. I'll take it. And and so sometimes it's on it's on uh, we the vendors to say, hey, here's something new. Here's something different. Here's something special you can do with this product. So, um, you know, it, it, it comes down to sometimes we as resellers of, uh, of equipment supplies, you know, if, if we want to resell more equipment, equipment supplies, we, we've got to be, show people better how to use the product and, and what the product can be used for. But, um, you, you know, Aaron, uh, one of the things that that struck me when we were talking about having doing this show was was the that whole concept of you know we we have a lot of folks in this industry and it's probably true of every industry that are a little bullheaded about things and so they want to they want to fit a square peg into a round hole when it comes to doing this so uh, it, 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 I've talked to so many decorators who say um, yeah I want to buy this digital decoration method but I want to replace exactly in quotes exactly hey on video I can do that all you people listening. <laughs> I'm air quoting, <laughs> but uh, but you take digital and replace exactly uh, the screen printing or some other method, and, and I want to use the same products, and I want to do the exact same prints, and I want to use the exact same pricing structure, and then come back and say, well, your product doesn't work. Well, you know what? <laughs> because you're trying to make it do something it wasn't meant to do, you know, yeah. so... Um, you, you, you got to open your mind a little bit uh, about this. And, and I think part of it too is uh, some of these uh, folks that, that come to you and, and, and they're bullheaded about it is they want to prove to you that your product is not going to compete with what they do. Well, you yeah. know, guess, guess what? It's, it is going to, it's going to compete with you every day and, and it's going to compete with you more and more every day. So, as long as you keep trying to compare it with exactly what you're doing today, you're, you're going to come up on the losing end. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's a really good point. So, uh, you know, and to take that one step further, I think, like you said, they get so close minded and that they want to do the exact same thing and right. they don't open their, their eyes to the fact that now I can do so much more, you know, they, they were trying right. to push all their customers to make their artwork be two or three colors. Um, but yet, you know, they could also have that color that's, you know, that customer that's insisting on a lot of color and, and they can do it. You know, they can do 16 million and one colors with their direct garment <laughs> printer. That's a, that's a little inside joke for Terry and I. We, we kind of battle. I always say that sublimation has 16 million colors. That's how many colors are in the CMYK color spectrum. And uh, Terry always says, well, my direct garment has 
16 million and one because they have white ink. So anyhow, sorry. They're from the off, center. Off yeah, track there, but. <laughs> if anybody's ever been to one of our seminars, they're always like that. <laughs> it's, it's, a little it's, sparring. Always, it's always a, it's a little spar back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So anyways, well, so what I'm saying is, you know, open your eyes to what these, these other technologies can do and, and what other markets can, can come in to it. Um, you know, so if I'm going to go even further, not necessarily off the reservation, but take, take a story that, uh, so this morning before this, uh, I was over, my wife is over at a local vendor fair. Um, for those of you that haven't heard me talk about what she's doing, but, um, she sells, uh, Rodan and field skincare products as a, as a side business. And, uh, and she's wor working really hard at it. And she's doing this vendor fair over there. And right across the aisle was Mary Kay. Um, you know, so another kind of skincare product. But you looked at the Mary Kay table and um, she, the, the person doing the Mary Kay, didn't really have a lot of skincare product stuff over there. They had all sorts of other gifts and other things. So Mary Kay's kind of, you know, because they've, they lost, they've, they've kind of been losing out in their, what was their core, you know, they were smart enough to open up their minds a little bit and go, okay, well, I can't compete with the Rodan and Fields and, and the, the, some of these other big skincare companies that are eating my lunch right now. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to do, do what we do best. We have this group of, you know, a lot of the Mary Kay consultants are, are getting up there in age now because it's been around for a little bit longer. And so they're maybe looking for some different things, some more crafty things and things like that. So, I think the same thing can be said for decorators. You know, we need to continue to evolve and continue to understand where we fit, not worry about, you know, the guy up the street or whatever. You know, you need to figure out who you are and, and find that niche that works best for you. So a perfect uh, example of, of, hey, your 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 audience, your marketplace is changing. So so you need to change with it. Yeah, exactly. And and. Like I said, just don't worry about what the other guy's doing or or the negative of this can't do that. Sure. But let's think about the positive. What can we do and what can we be successful with? So, all right, Terry, well, I'm going to jump uh, into the next one if you're ready for me here. And uh, for those of you that are uh, watching the video, I do have a, a visual, a couple of visuals here. If you're listening to the podcast, I'll try to explain it as best as possible. But um, all right. So this is it's a little cosmetic bag. It's a neoprene. And uh, but the decoration is the important part here. It's uh, it's dance. And we've talked about dance and cheer quite a bit. Terry's spent a lot of money uh, throughout his daughter's growing up. But, Many thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so so that's not new. And that's not the new part about what why I wanted to talk about this. So the dance and cheer thing. But why I wanted to talk about it was I wanted to talk to you about how to get there. How what what kinds of of things that you can do, because. There probably are lots of people that are that are you know offering cheer kind of products in different areas, and um, you know maybe if you go and set up there, you can get some things going. But what I want to talk about is how, what what you should probably do is look at it as an event kind of a situation, make it a, a must buy now kind of a scenario. So this particular um, piece was that way. So this particular person went to um, their local cheer uh place and said hey i've got these designs here all these cool designs i've got maybe five or six of them and with these designs you can put the the girls can put their name right here and um we're going to do an event for you guys and and it's going to cost them 20 i'm just going to throw some round numbers out there i don't know if this is actually the numbers they use it's going to cost the the parents or the girls 20 dollars um, I'm going to give you five of that and this is going to be for a limited time. So we're going to do this for a weekend or a week and everybody places their orders, uh, right now. And, and, and I believe they did it around, you know, maybe they're going to nationals or something along those, those lines. And they got an order for a hundred of them and all of them picked the design they wanted, picked the font they wanted and, and put their name on them. And they got an order for a hundred of them. Um, Doing something similar with the uh, PJ pants for for a dance group that's uh, um, and it, it this is so niche down that uh, it's actually a dance group and all of the families are um, of Jewish descent and so they're doing a Hanukkah uh, event where all the kids can get uh, pick out 
PJ pants that the parents are going to give for Hanukkah gifts. So um, just kind of create that buy now mentality, which then also um, does drives two things that that allows you to drive your price up so you can give more to the, the group and keep more for yourself. Um, and then add the personalization to it because you've got digital decorating and it doesn't matter if everyone's different. Um, so add the personalization to it to drive the price up even more. Uh, you know, so because what happened with the PJ pants situation when first started talking about it, they were like, yeah, that's, you know, that's too much. We can't spend, you know, X amount of dollars on, on the PJ pants. Okay. Well, what if each of them had their own name on it and they could pick the, emoji poop color they wanted or whatever you know the, <laughs> the design might be um <laughs> oh well now all of a sudden things changed and now not only was the price good we were they were actually able to charge a little bit more for that S same exact product just a different way of going about marketing it so there's there's, there's a, my next one there's there's a dozen great ideas in there and and you know light bulbs are going off of me because i've been to a thousand dance events. And, <laughs> and we, we, when you held up the makeup bag, I'm like, Oh my gosh. Cause that's a big part of it. You know, they, they've all got all this makeup that they, that they put on before they perform. And what a great product idea, makeup bag. Are you kidding me? And then, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm thinking uh, the PJ pants. Well, you know, you know, the people who go to these gymnastic or I'm sorry, dance events, they, they, they see the dance they don't see that three other days that the, that the, the girls and guys are there um, working with these dance masters and, and, and what are they wearing when they walk in there? Uh, leotard and PJ pants over them as they're right out of the hotel room, right down to the, to the area where they're having these events. And, and I'm thinking, oh, what a great product, because what that said to me also is um, when you go to these events, there's always vendors there. And, and, and it's uh, there's three vendors there and all they're selling is leotards and dance bags, leotards and dance bags. If you just, you know, put your thinking cap on and just w watch these girls and as they're walking uh, out of the elevator and every one of them is in PJ pants. Well, why wouldn't you be selling dance PJ pants? Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm loving the idea of it. And then on top of that, you know, the whole concept of of having an event just for you. There's that, that was chock full of information. Hope you guys are all writing this down. You need to replay <laughs> this on archives. There's, there's a ton of great concepts in there. Um, you know, Aaron, one of the things I wanted to talk about was, was not necessarily a specific niche market, but, but expand your horizons with these new opportunities because, uh, and I'm not talking about the, um, you know, square pegs and round holes again. I'm not talking about the person who's totally resisting. I'm talking about the person who says, okay, I get it. I, I need to be doing digital. Uh, I'm not sure where to start. Think a little bit about what was holding you back in the previous decoration method you had. Was it was it because of the minimums were too high? Uh, was it setup time? Was that what was hurting you? Was it sampling? Are you in a marketplace where you know people are wanting to see samples? And by gosh, as a screen printer, I don't want to do samples. It's it's just it's too time consuming. That. So I, I guess mine is more uh, more of a, a concept or an encouragement to, you know, what new opportunities will this new tech to technology offer you and offer the customers you already have? Yeah. So, you know, it, it, when you're trying to decide what it is you're going to do with this new technology and, 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 and all our regular listeners, they can tune out now for about a, about 90 seconds. It, make a list of 20 things and you know, <laughs> you've all heard me say it over and over again. You know, what can I do with this technology that I couldn't do with my previous technology? Make a list of 20 things and don't stop until you're done. And no matter how dumb it sounds, write it down anyway. Somewhere, yeah. in, somewhere in there is a gym and, and, and it's going to make you a lot of money. I, I promise you, if you, if you and don't stop at 15 because it's probably 16 Write yeah. 20 of them down, no matter how painful it is. Don't get up from your desk until you're done. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, that, those are great, great points. And, you know, and, and the whole point of, of this program and, and what we're, we're, we're trying to do with, with the seminars at DAX and things like that is we, we do. We want to get your creative juices flowing. We want you to think about what it is that, that, that can change your business. Everybody's business is totally different. There's, there's no magic bullet. It, you know, Terry and I would 
not be working so hard if there was some magic bullet that we had that we could just give to you because we'd charge thousands and thousands of dollars for it and be rich and we'd be sitting on vacation together drinking rum or something. Exactly. You just see our infomercial. We're going to be in town. Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Free but seminar. This time, so there is no magic bullet. Uh, <laughs> You know, so but it is it, you know, the things that, that Terry's saying with the writing down twenty things, or, or you know, just thinking about your business differently, getting rid of all of the, um, I don't know, <laughs> this time of year, the the holiday season, the word curmudgeon comes to uh, comes to mind. Let, let's not be an Ebenezer Scrooge, you know. Let's exactly. let's be positive and think about all the things that we can do or or could possibly do. And, and give them a try and get out there and, and try these things out. So, and, and as a reminder, Aaron, we're going to be coming up with a show uh, uh, here in just a few weeks about our ideas and uh, for uh, for the, the year 2018. So, yeah, listen for that as well. Start thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, all right, Terry. Well, I've got another visual here for those folks on the video side of things, and I'm going to have to back up here a little bit because it's actually fairly large. I think. Yep, this is it. Okay. So I'm backing up. <laughs> uh, so it's a it's a beach towel, and it is. <coughs> excuse me. Still have that cough. Awesome. Um, so it's a beach towel, and it is decorated with a concert ticket. Um, and uh, this particular one is, is fish. Uh, I didn't know who they were before I started. So I apologize for those fish fans out there. I didn't realize that they were kind of like the Grateful Dead in, in a way. Uh, just, exactly. Like, You're too young to know. <laughs> um, and I actually listened to some of their music finally, and it's actually pretty good. So um, anyways. <laughs> You're expanding um, your horizons. <laughs> I know. Hey, again, open mind. You know, what, what am I missing here? What am I not doing? <laughs> um, so anyways. Uh, got uh, so the the niche here though is is taking something, taking an area where people are are, are passionate about and, and finding that 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 different way. So um, this actually started from a uh, gentleman had seen some things on Facebook where people were, were putting concert tickets on floor mats, and uh, he opened up his his horizons and not only did floor mats. But started putting concert tickets on beach towels, on garden flags, on on just about everything, and then and then it just blew up from there. And then he was customizing and decorating everything. So you know anything from from Grateful Dead, old Grateful Dead tickets to fish, um, uh, all that stuff. His company's Funky Threads, P H U N K Y Threads, and he does a lot of uh, direct to garment. But came came to me for some sublimation and and. Uh, it's been awesome. So I just wanted to not not a ton here, but you know, you gotta gotta find that that fan base, that rabid fan base and 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 be involved in it. You know, what I think what really helped helped him was that he is part of that rabid fan base and in fact uh runs a, a fan club kind of thing. I can't remember exactly what it is, but uh you know, so so he's he's knee deep in it and he he knows all the people involved in it and and so he was able to then take and, and really expand his horizons from there. That's something, you know, we've talked about in the show, Aaron, uh, several times is, is is tie your business into what you're passionate about. And it, yeah. it makes it a pleasure to go to work every day, you know, and uh, and, uh, you know, doing uh, fish uh, uh, ticket stubs gets you gets you backstage, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and again, there's another market where that is custom built for the 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 short run the the full color image because uh, hey we're 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 probably we're probably not gonna gonna sell shirts to Coldplay but but we're gonna sell shirts to and I'll give you an example Aaron uh, our, our good friends James or Ortolani in uh, Pittsburgh Kansas um, we, James is a longtime veteran of the industry but what are all of his posts on Facebook him playing with his band and. Yeah. Uh, uh, there, there's a gentleman at, at Cadlink, uh, same deal. Uh, every time you have a conversation with him, it, it's about, it's about his band that he plays with on weekends. And, uh, um, there's, uh, several other folks in the industry, you know, you, you start talking to them about, about what they do outside of, of this. And 
a lot of times it's it's my band. Well, they don't have a giant following, but do they want the the traditional merchandise shirts? Yeah, they do. You know, <laughs> they they want that shirt with the uh, with full color image of the band or all the other merchandise or the or the beach towels. And, and you know, they they may not have a million followers, but they might have a hundred. And and their hundred followers are going to buy those products, you know. And and this comes from not my personal experience, but my son Mike. Uh, he had a band in high school. He had a band in college. He had a band uh, in, in Austin, you know, because if you live in Austin, you got to have a band. And yeah. uh, and and they they sold a lot of merchandise, and and uh, you know, and people would buy their CDs, and and they wanted to have a lot of products there, you know, that that they could offer their customers. And and you know what? And price wasn't that big a deal for them. They didn't want to make money on it. They wanted people walking around with, uh, uh, you know, his, his band in Austin, Go Action Team. They wanted people walking around in Go Action Team T-shirts, you know. So, um, you know, just just another niche market that's, I, I don't want to say it's virtually untapped. I, I What I want to say is it's so huge that the opportunity is there for, for people in, uh, in, in every community. There, I don't think there are very many communities on the planet that don't have a few bands and those bands need products. So here to see you smiling. You must be getting a lot of posts there on the, on the, on the, uh, we're getting, yeah, we're getting some comments and, and uh, I've been trying to pop them up on the, the video screen there too. So, um, we've got Eric and we've got Martha and we've got Isabella all joining in here. So if, uh, it, there we go, Isabella, she goes after the dance industry. So hopefully, uh, she got to, uh, here are, if not tune back in, we talked a little bit about how to go a little bit differently than, than everybody else at the, at the dance competition. Isabella, uh, if you didn't hear it, makeup bags for the dance industry. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Terry. I'm thinking well, about um, becoming a printer again, just to do that. That's a, that's an <laughs> awesome idea. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, well, let's see here. Um, I've got, I've got one more in the, okay. No, actually, I've got two more. We're going to have time. Ooh, yeah, we have you know time. what? I'm going to do one more. And right. I'm going to hold I'm gonna hold, hold on to the secrets. I'm keeping secrets. Right. It's like, oh, garden flag. Oh, no, we're not going to talk about those. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to uh, we were gonna, you know, have, uh, have show and tell. I would have. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I didn't have time. Yeah. So you, I got I, literally. I didn't tell you about it because I knew you, you would. Never mind. All right. So <laughs> the next one that I have. Is is home decor products, um, and you can do this on a lot of different uh, different uh, kinds of applications, from the toner transfers to the print and cut, uh, sublimation. Um, you could probably even print some uh, some placemats on on your direct garment printer. I'm I'm guessing, Terry, if cotton, yeah, sure, yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, so, home decor. Um, this is a again everything that. A lot of stuff I involved with is sublimation. So this is a, a placemat, a personalized placemat. I know Thanksgiving's over, but maybe uh, Christmas is coming. Uh, table runners. Uh, you know, this is more of a, a neoprene uh, placemat here. But so home decor is actually a, a fairly growing segment for, for decorators. And uh, um, again, just showing off some ideas to think about what you're going to make. But as far as the nuts and bolts of it, um, Oh, well, oh, there we go. Dan Axelson just, just joined in. I mean, we're going to post Dan's comment in here one second. Well, let me wrap up my home decor thing here real quick, Terry. Um, so home decor, the couple different ways to get into it, but the way that I, I want to share today is um, reach out to realtors. Um, they are always looking for uh, different gifts, you know, that, that, that they can give because realtors live off word of mouth. And um, so, you know, I, I get a calendar from the realtor we bought our house from four years ago every year. And I haven't talked to her in four years. And every year I get a calendar or some other thing from her that's, you know, give me the, <laughs> the ideas, you know, that kind of thing. So um, we, we are so go to realtors, talk to them, and then you could put together kind of a welcome basket, maybe um, that would include some placemats and and some coasters maybe uh, a picture of the the home on it or or take take a quick picture of the the new homeowners in front of their home when you're 
giving them the key, when a realtor is giving them the keys, that kind of thing, and uh, put together a little program that's kind of a, a housewarming kind of gift from the realtor, and the realtor can, it you know, b- pay for those things easily out of the commission that they're making, and it's going to provide them word of mouth advertising uh, for for years to come. You know, if it's something sure. that's nice, so uh, and that, you, that's you, my and, and you as you as the decorator. I'll just do it for you. Send me these three pictures, you know, uh, and and I'll take care of the rest. And and uh, there's there, that that's a perfect. And, and, and then repeat, 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 because you don't have to be in the same town to 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 do this product. You know, you know, you could be doing the county and then the tri county and then then heck, you're doing them all over the state. These packages. Yeah. That's that's man, you're on fire today, Aaron. You, that's a oh, fabulous you, idea. Well, we've also got some great comments coming in here, Terry. Uh, uh, Cindy uh, said, uh, as far as placemats go, um, cookies for Santa. Oh, you know, I have, love that. Have a little placemat there where you know, kind of place cookies here. Uh, maybe the kids' picture on there or something like that. I, I'm just brainstorming hand, some hand prints. Kids uh, making cookies. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love it. Yep, yep, perfect. Great idea. All right. Here, here's an, another one, Terry. This is from, from one of our listeners, longtime friend Dan Axelson. And uh, if you can't read it there, it says, I had a customer for many, many years that printed insect shirts, lived off nothing else. So I wonder, Dan, about- what does that mean? You got to type somewhere, my friend. Dan, <laughs> Dan Axelson is uh, with Workhorse Products. Uh, he's international sales. And uh, who is the guy who's probably eating insects because he is rarely in the country. He's always going to just crazy places and uh, posting about his uh, 14 hour flights. And <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, again, a, a very targeted niche where, you know, if somebody can do nothing but that, they, yeah. they found something there that, that, you know, and so when you can find your niche and your category, um, Man, it, it, it's it's a game changer, you know. So, um, it, 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 and and that's the you know, and Aaron, Aaron, that's the secret of niche markets. You know everything there is to know about that market, and then you own that market. And it's very difficult for people to come in and compete with you because because you know those little idiosyncrasies that 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 makes that customer buy or not buy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, one of the, here, uh, I'm going to share another comment from Eric Campbell here. We made a ton of money on wine bags for realtors, uh, signing gifts are, are awesome. So that, yeah, that, that's a really, gifts. here's that's your a, keys and here's a, you know, place yeah. maths, wine bags. Uh, you yeah. Know. Yeah. Because, uh, usually there, there's a bottle of wine sitting in there when you walk in the door and, uh, uh, wine bag is a perfect gift. And, 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 you know, as Aaron, you were saying that I remember writing in an article one time, nobody self promotes like realtors do. And, yeah. and so you get it, you get in with some realtors and, and, and they have that marketing money, that calendar they sent you to you. They've got a marketing fund that they work from and each individual realtor is doing that. And, and I'm not talking about the, the person whose name's on the, you know, the big sign, each in, individual there who's, who's selling those products, they're, they're competing for that business every day. So, yeah. uh, um, amongst the other realtors. Yeah. And this kind of all ties into all of these things, Terry. But, you know, one of the other things I wanted to talk about was was kind of if you can, you know, like the insect one would be a a good example of, you know, people didn't know they needed insect shirts until that gentleman showed them that they did. Um, You know, this is a broader topic, but, uh, you know, somebody like Zig Ziglar did not sell uh, sales self-help tapes. That was not what he went out to be. He did not go out to say, I'm going to be the sales self, self-help self guy. He basically told people that you have a problem that you're commuting for hours a day and you're sitting in that car and that car is dead time to you. And that's how he sold his products. So here here we go. Um, oh, by the way, and everybody said, oh, yeah, that is true. I'm wasting hours a day in the car with mind numbing driving. Um, what could I be doing to do better? Oh, well, this guy told me what my problem was. So he obviously has a solution that I'm going to just buy his tapes and, and learn how to sell. So, you know, that's what, that's what you have to do is you have to prove to people what their problem is, why they need their product. You you know, you kind of have to educate them. 
Um, so it's I, like the pharmaceutical got, companies. They invent the disease and they invent no, they <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But you're, you're not a fixer. <laughs> <laughs> you have to educate your customers, though. So, Terry, I know you've got some feedback on, on educating your customers. Well, yeah, exactly. And, and, and you know, a, a lot of what we do is, is education. And, and if I hear one more person say to me, hey, my customer won't pay that. Then, then either you need to find a new customer or you are imparting that upon your customer. You're, you are setting that standard in their mind that, that, you know, what, what you have to sell only has a value of $7. It doesn't have a value of $20. So, uh, because guess what? The person down the street is selling, selling that same or, or selling a product for substantially more money. And uh, because they they're not starting with the premise of my customer won't do this because, you know what, if you educate the customer, they might very well do it. So I, mean, I see a lot of uh, posts popping up there Aaron. I know yeah, we're getting yeah, me, towards the end. So we, we got yeah, this is great. Thanks for everybody for joining us here. Um, I'm going to post Dan's up there. It kind of covers us up a little bit. But he, he did explain a little bit more about the insect uh, guy. Uh, so they got diagrams of interesting bugs to a specific group. These groups exist on every college campus in the country. Uh, he built a database and targeted bug geeks every time he came out with a new design. I love uh, it. I yeah, love it. perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect stuff. So thanks for I was hoping it weren't made Dan. of uh, um, like roach larvae or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Eric had a, had a good point here. Uh, you have to be a consultant, not just a salesperson. Uh, they often lack vision even when they can execute, you know, talking about salespeople, they, they need you to give them, or not salespeople, your customers don't have the, the vision. They, they need your right. help kind of showing, you know, the, the realtor example, sure. I think, is really kind of what, you know, go show them what, what that's going to do for them. Say, hey, would you like to have your placemat with your little logo in the corner out on every Thanksgiving meal? Uh, you know, or whatever. So, yeah. Um, and, and, and so, so that means, you, you know, you're probably creating that gift basket and delivering it to the realtor and, and saying, this is what I can do for you. And, uh, and again, send me the three pictures. I'll take care of the rest. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, Terry. Well, we've covered a lot of ground. We're, we're actually running out of time a lot quicker than we had anticipated. So exactly we've been moving here. Um, for those of you listening to the podcast, we're going to, break for a quick word from uh, a sponsor, Equipment Zone. Uh, for those of you listening on the Facebook Live here, we're going to keep going, all right? <laughs> so, um, Terry, before we close out today, I want to talk a little bit about the the Reggies. The, the voting is actually happening right now. And um, first first off, uh, I wanted to kind of give a shout out to the Rhinestone world. Uh, we got uh, uh, quite a few uh, comments and, and emails through our, our website at Two Regular Guys with uh, a lot of the, the Rhinestone World followers uh, saying that they needed to be on a certain category. And uh, I had to uh, tastefully uh, <laughs> tell them, sorry, the nominations <laughs> were open for over a month. And uh, so you, you kind of missed the boat there. So <laughs> tune in next year. Um, the Rhinestone World is up for a Reggie in the customer service category, but uh, Matt didn't make it on to the nomination board, uh, Matt the owner of the rhinestone world uh, does a lot of educating and, uh, and Matt was a winner of Reggie last year for as yeah, an educator. So. so while he is a, a good educator, they did not get nominated enough to make the, the Reggie's. So we can't write them in. We're not changing the rules just because uh, they forgot to promote it in time. So, but, but be watching for uh, the 2018 Reggie awards and let's, let's get that kind of enthusiasm going. Uh, uh, you know, before, Yes, exactly. But before before it closes, so yeah, definitely, definitely. So anyhow, um, so uh, as as just mentioned, the the nominations uh, uh, and Matt, Cindy, Matt does do great classes. Agreed, a hundred percent. Just that we've been doing these awards for the five years now, and we've done them the same way. Nominations are open, and uh, and when nominations are closed, the voting opens up, and and that voting is going to happen until the fourteenth. Uh, we, we, we don't have any say in this, so we, we can't right. just go change the rules at the last second. It, the nominations happen. Now the voting's happening. We, we don't ch uh, pick our favorites or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we love you, Matt, by the way. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, at the end of the year, uh, the, the 15th of December, we will announce the winners. And uh, we, we did actually receive the largest number of nominations we've ever received. And uh, um, so it's uh, it's it's awesome. And we want to continue that enthusiasm. Like I said, uh, I expect an overwhelming response in 2018. Uh, for for the rhinestone world <laughs> if, if everybody tunes in in october next year so um all right terry well why don't you just run down the the the, uh, nom- uh, the nominees real quick and uh, then we'll we'll go from there okay uh for best product uh best new product uh printavo inksoft rtp apparel pre-treated shirts uh saudi led exposure unit uh madeira bodybuilder foam uh, number two, best sales or customer service rep, uh, Bill Cohen from All Stitch, uh, Terry Combs from Equipment Zone. Look at that. Victor Marquez from uh, Deco Network, uh, Rudy Marrero from Stalls, who won the award for, with a different company a previous year, <laughs> uh, John uh, Kupka from Saudi. Uh, third category, company that provides the best customer service, All Stitch Embroidery Supply, Printavo, Inksoft, NNEP. And then the Rhinestone World. There's your chance to vote, Rhinestone World fans. Number four, best online educational resource. Uh, this is a combined category this year. Uh, embroidery Library. Number two, Screen Print Marketing Facebook Group. Embroidery Boss Facebook Group. Screen Print Q&A Facebook Group. And the two regular guys website. Look at us, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> number five, best industry educator. And, and this category is an educator from trade shows, seminars, video, print, or, or otherwise. Uh, our good friend who's listening in right now, Eric Campbell, Greg Kitson, Mark Coudre, Marshall Adkinson, Bruce Ackerman. Uh, the, uh, Aaron, are you going to do some categories as well? No, you, you, you keep going. You're doing a fantastic job. All right. All right. Best industry, best industry. You know, I love to talk. So, <laughs> uh, best industry trade show. ISS Long Beach. The uh, multiple winner is uh, in years past. Uh, Dax, Minnesota, a show that we always uh, enjoy attending. NNEP Nashville. ISS Atlantic City. SGIA New Orleans. All all of these, uh, of course, are from 2017. Best guest on the Two Regular Guys podcast, Eric Campbell, nominated again. We'll call this one, we'll call it E. Rich, his rapper name, E. Rich Campbell. Uh, <laughs> Eric, you knew it was coming, buddy. <laughs> Peter and Brian from New Era, uh, Shannon Crowell, Lon Winters, Mark Coudre, and Best Ambassador for the Industry. This is a category that uh, that we came up this year that – we wanted this to be the uh, the award uh, to top all awards and uh, great nominees for, for this category. Best ambassador for the industry: Johnny Shell, Joyce Jagger, Tom Roan, Eric Campbell, and Mark Coudre. There's a, quite a few repeats through here, Aaron. Yep, yep. <laughs> there we go. Eric just said every show uh, <laughs> in reference to your your e rich comment. So. <laughs> It's not my my fault. It's his mother's fault. He's the one who spelled Eric E R I I C H. All right. Well, so yeah, get your votes in. Uh, head on over to uh, tworegularguys.com and you'll see a button right in the middle top that says the vote now, and and the voting's up until December fourteenth. So um, you get you get one one vote, but you can change your vote all the way up until the uh, the fourteenth. So um, hey, you you get your social media. Oh, well. actually, can I? Uh, I was just saying, get out there on social media, and uh, if you've got a favor here, get out there and promote them on social media. Get people over there to vote. Cool. Hey, Terry, before – I'm going to uh, – sorry, more visuals here. Before uh, you get to what you've got coming up here, I have – let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Um, so I'm trying to blow out some two regular guys' swag here that uh, I've been taking it around to trade shows. So I have iPhone 6 phone cases, two regular guys. I've got six of those. Yep, six of those. And I have um, some iPhone 5, two regular guys' phone cases. I believe one of these is even glow in the dark. And I can't, <laughs> I can't see it. But um, if you would like one of these, please send me your address 
and I will mail it to you. All right. If you'd like, if you have an iPhone five or an iPhone six, the first six people that have an iPhone six or three people that have an iPhone five and the first person that gets the, uh, Glow in the dark one, pretty cool. Anyways, um, <laughs> just trying to get rid of some some stuff. We'll be making some new stuff for uh, 2018, so be sure to uh, check us out at the shows. And and uh, but uh, just head over to our website, tworegularguys.com. Go to the contact us page and uh, send me your your address. And if you're one of the first six people to do that, um, I will mail you one of those cool two regular guys phone cases. Awesome. All right, Terry, where are you going to be? What's coming up? All right, this week, Aaron, I'm uh, I'm jumping right back in. I've got an open house December 6th at Equipment Zone, Tempe, Arizona, the new location, and you can sign up for that at uh, at equipmentzone.com, and it's certainly there's no cost to attend, but uh, we'll have some folks from Equipment Zone, New Jersey there. We'll have some folks from Epson there, so we'll be running the Epson F2000, uh, the Speech Reader TX, that sort of thing. Uh, actually, I don't have on my list here, Aaron, but tomorrow... Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a direct garment webinar uh, on the Equipment Zone site. So you do need to sign up ahead for that ahead of time. It's going to be at uh, 4 o'clock Eastern time. So uh, go to EquipmentZone.com to sign up for that if you want to listen in on an intro to, to direct garment printing. Complete screen printing business course uh, coming up again, January 27th, 28th. I'll be at Workhorse Products in Phoenix, February 10th. 11th, I'll be at Atlas Screen Supply in Chicago. March 3rd and 4th, Atlas Screen Supply at their new location in Nashville. And then uh, January 18th, I'll be doing a full day Epson F2000 class the day before the ISS show opens in uh, in Long Beach. For my classes, go to terrycombs.com. For the um, ISS uh, all day free seminar, go to issshows.com. And uh, maybe this week, Aaron, maybe I'm going to get all my tour dates updated on terrycombs.com and hopefully be able to click on tour dates and it'll all be there. <laughs> all right. You didn't do that on vacation, huh? All right. I did not do that on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, next week's uh, show, Terry, we're going to be talking to the folks over at Heat Transfer Warehouse. And um, but we've not had them on as guests before. And I ran into them at SGIA show and, and, uh, Kirk and, and AJ over there, really great guys. I think both of them are going to join us, maybe some other folks there. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, key transfer vinyl and, and what, what's going on with, with them and, and just kind of that whole space in general. So uh, should be a great conversation. And uh, Terry, what about trade shows? What are, what are the 2018 you know, trade shows coming up you, here? Let me just give you a, a little, little taste of the early uh, trade shows. Uh, ASI Orlando will be January 3rd and 4th. PPAI Expo in Vegas, January 16th through 18th. ISS Long Beach, the biggest uh, garment show in the country, is going to be January 19th through 21st. ASI Dallas, if you're at specialty, January 25th through 26th. NNEP, if you're in embroidery, uh, that's going to be in Atlanta, February 2nd and 3rd. International Awards and Personalization Expo. That's in Vegas, February 20th and 23rd. Uh, DAX shows are starting up again. DAX, Kansas City, February 23rd and 24th. You can see the two regular guys there doing a seminar together. And then ThreadX, powered by SGIA. That's going to be in Palm Springs, California, February 25th through 27th. And you can see the two regular guys there as well. Absolutely. Uh, and Eric, I still owe you a call about that. So I promise I'm going to try soon. <laughs> shotgun by the way yes yeah <laughs> all right well terry i think we've had a had a good time and uh yeah for us uh i'm pretty impressed actually not as many technical difficulties as we're used to so uh a new platform we'll see how this goes and, uh, and then your son's showing up right before the show came on covered in goo <laughs> well, there was that but uh hey all right well thanks uh very much to everybody who's joined us we'd have had some great comments and and people joining us on the live feed. And if you're listening to us on the, on the podcast, uh, thanks for tuning in each week. And, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, continuing to expand and grow and in, in the rest of the year and, and uh, coming up in uh, 2018. Uh, one, one last quick comment from our good friend, Jay Bissell. Classic. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, speaking of uh, Jay, um, if you haven't checked out promo chat on Twitter, 
uh, every Wednesday. And, and I have been absent for a long time and, and really need to get back. But uh, the 14 hour days uh, making holiday gifts have uh, gotten in my way. So I'll be back soon. I promise, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> All right. Tuning out, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. All right. I hope to see everybody on Friday.